Okay, it's a learning experience. I am going to have to cock with this seat. Hello, and welcome to, um, well, Carlin's Worlds. Yeah, that should work. I'm a wanderer, a tinkerer, sometimes a nomad, a military veteran. I do things differently. There will be tinkering. I have a motorcycle, a truck, and a school bus. I live off grid, so there will be some solar, batteries, inverters, and maybe even some wind. It blows. And that's all I can fit into about 30 seconds. Oh, and please, if you like any of this, it would be really awesome if you could subscribe and click that notify bell. Drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Share, like, comment, subscribe, notify. Oh, and Patreon if you're really an awesome kind of person. Cool. On with the show already. All right, there's your establishing shot, right? Okay, so I've got 60 feet of rain gutters, 30 for each side. Two 10-foot pieces of downspouts. I'm going to cut those in half and have each one go down into a trash can. You know, so you may get an inch of rain in an hour. It's very torrential. And then it's done for the day. And then this is, you know, for monsoon season. Then the next day you get another inch. So I figured it out a while ago, and I don't remember the exact math, but based on the size of my roof area, I should be able to get between 50 and 60 gallons of water in a one inch rain. I'm making this up as I go. A little bit will be half ass, but nobody makes a bracket to hang a rain gutter on the side of a school bus. Checking out the job site. He is just way too tame. I don't know what's up with this guy. He's probably going to go right for my throat. Huh? I am literally four feet from him. Five feet. Okay, maybe six feet. Just checking shit out, though. He's just fascinated by this piece of uh, rain gutter. As long as I don't get too close, he's okay. Okay, ten feet, because the rain gutter's ten feet long. I'm on the other end of it. Now, this is completely arbitrary, it's just a matter of style, I guess. Something like that. Making it big just to make it easier to get the cutter in there. That's really it. The snips. a little past the line. I don't know if that makes any difference or not. And I'm only doing this on the center section. We'll do something different on the other. One of these is the right size. Crescent wrench works about as good as anything.
this would be a size bigger on here, so I got the wrong wrong one. Okay. So I just uh, sealed it up with the. Uh, Shadows. So hopefully the water will run around over the tape. So Learning experience. I am going to have to cock those seams. There might be a better way. I haven't figured it out yet. hot outside. Showing about a hundred in here so it's probably not quite a hundred outside. Whatever. I had... Oh, I was gonna go do that. Running the deep freeze off of the inverter, I've got chunks of ice in my water pitchers back there. Hell yeah. First thing I see when I sit down. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Freaking downpipe right in front of me. Anywhere else. The other one back there isn't going to bother me now, but that one is just right there. Whatever. I'm not going to move it. Okay, it's a couple minutes after four on Sunday. Somewhere at or around 100 degrees. Notice I'm getting a little bit sunburned. That doesn't happen too often, but I have been outside. Peak of the day, sweating, so. Okay. Comes down. What I did on this side, I cut one of my 10 footers into three equal lengths, or approximately equal. I guess it wasn't exactly 10 feet or whatever. So I got about three foot four inches on each of these because I had bought these anyway. So I'm like, all right, I didn't know where I was going to use them. So I figured I'd just put it there. I can, I'm probably going to make some changes on here anyway. So I got just two cans on here. I haven't cut the tops on these ones yet. And I'm kind of holding back on that. <sighs> that one's already got holes in it. So I might do that one. This one, I don't really want to cut it. I used the Gorilla Tape all the way along the seam on this side. That one I taped around the outside. This one I did a better job taping the inside, didn't tape the outside. And I taped up both end caps on this side. So I'm kind of just going to leave it for now and see how they go, you know. 
Now the thing is on a torrential downpour, do I really want to walk outside and look at this? But that's kind of what's going to happen. So now on this side, I spilled a bit of water and I'm not sure what kind of flies these are. It's almost a dragonfly. They are just going nuts. Get in the water when they can. I don't know what the carrying capacity is on one of these little insects, but they're getting what they can while they can, right? I switched it back to the garden hose and I added a T between the two um, garbage cans. Okay, so these two cans are gonna equalize anyway. Now I've got a T off of that hose feeding the pump, all right? So I dumped a bunch of water in here out of one of the other trash cans and it's already equalizing. Every time I dump water in it kicks up all the silt, but if you just wait a little bit the silt uh, settles down fairly quickly and the feeds are a couple inches off the bottom so I'm going to run laundry out of here. So that's the next thing. I'm going to go start the washing machine. I'm going to be harvesting quote unquote free water. For the cost of $100 worth of uh, rain gutters and downspouts, just a little less than $100 is what I spend on that project. If I can do laundry off of essentially free water after that $100, and I can line dry most days if it's not too windy out here. Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, that should work. Cool. I do things differently. Oh. And please, if you like any of this, it would be really awesome if you could subscribe and click that notify bell. Drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Share, like, comment, subscribe, notify. Oh, and Patreon if you're really an awesome kind of person. Thank you so much for watching.